A new exhibit honoring the influence on hip hop and one visionary artist has now opened it in Austin. The West Chelsea Contemporary is highlighting the work of Say Adams, a pioneer in hip hop's creative direction. And he is joined with me now in studio to talk a little bit more about what people can expect. Say good morning. Hey, thank you for having me. Yes, excited to have you. Uh, happy you're here. For those I want to start who may not be familiar with their your work, but they should be. Can you talk a little bit about what makes your creations a little bit different than the ordinary. Well, in the for starters, this is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. And I've been making work for the better part of 40 years. So I'm from the first generation of people that came up in hip hop, you know, through graffiti, street art, and basically hip hop culture because I was also the creative director for Def Jam Recordings. Mm -hmm. So I designed all the album covers for everybody from Run DMC to LL Cool J, Beastie Boys, Public Enemy, <laughs> Jay -Z. all the way up to Jay-Z. Yeah. And I have literally seen it all. <laughs> I can only imagine the stories you have as well. And just seeing, you know, over time, how that's all evolved and everything. And I want to talk, you know, combinations. What can people expect when they're walking into this exhibit? Well, the show is really uh, my way of sort of expressing myself today. We sort of look back to the past, but it's really about the work that I'm making today. My work is primarily collage based and I put a lot of focus on brands and logos and identities that I grew up loving as a kid. And it's a lot of storytelling. There are, you know, giant American flags that tell the story of who we are and where we come from. There's sculptures with my, you know, partners and friends like, you know, Hot Wheels and Mattel. You know, I, I partner with the folks at Levi's to do a, a lot of, you know, colorful, you know, banners yeah. that are full scale. Um, but ultimately, what I want people to take away is the idea that, you know, this creativity is something that I've had since I was a little kid. And I think that this is literally something for everybody. Yeah, and it seems like too, there's so many just underlying messages in your work as well. And when you go and see it, like you say, it tells a whole story. You can really get a lot from it. What are some of those messages you want people to get out of your work? Well, the number one message is love because I, I've created a lot of works that speak to people coming together. And, and the, the, the easiest way to describe it is sort of thinking about hip hop itself. It started out locally in New York City and it's expanded throughout the United States and obviously throughout the world. Yeah, what's your favorite thing about hip hop? The what fact that I am still here <laughs> and I'm a representative of the culture. Yeah, absolutely. Now this gallery, this ex um, exhibit, open now for the public. How long, much longer can people come see it? It runs through, I believe, November 19th. Okay. And they're open seven days a week. All right, so there's so. no excuse for <laughs> no. people. And I'm sure you'll be there some days too, so people want to come and chat with you. I am going to be here through the end of the month, and I am going to be there every single day. So come on down. All right, y'all heard that. He'll be there every single day, and I'm excited. I'm going to go check it out as well. Say thanks so much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you.